Not many deals out there can make you a ton of money, but this is one of them. This one is called Teleport Me and it lets you create virtual tours. So if you're into real estate, if you're a marketing agency that wants to create virtual tours, you have a hospital, a hotel, a showroom, an exposition, this is a great tool. So let me show you what I'm talking about right now. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is George and this is SaaS Master. This is a virtual tool creator that's called Teleport Me. That deal is going on right now, the link we provided in the description. So that means that you can jump into a tour just like this one that you can embed on your website or share via link where people can jump in and actually come and immerse, immerse inside of this tour. For example, I can jump into the elevator, I can go downstairs, I can check this out around here. But in this case, I'm gonna go downstairs. So let's see what's going on down here. Maybe this is a hotel, hospital, a house that I wanna preview for a realtor, etc. And I can go ahead and view this around without having to go to the location unless I'm interested. For example, this is a fantastic idea for me because I can just go ahead and view the tool right here. And if I'm really interested in buying the property, well, I go visit it. It's, I, and I don't waste time going to visit it without actually knowing if I like it. In this case, it, I'm already 70% sure that I want to buy this property, for example, when I look at it. And you can jump into the tour, different sections, go outside, see what's going on. Here's a door. Let's go see what happened inside of here. And you can see this is like a, a meeting room. And basically, you can create tours for any type of this situation. So you can go to this section, check the room out if you like it, head on out of here, or all those options. Now, is it difficult to build one of these tours? And no, it's not. What it will take you is a few hours to create one of these tours. You can modify it. You can make it even look better later on, add more sections to your tour, and go along as you go. But it's time consuming, but not hard to build per se, okay? So for example, here's a few tours that I wanna show you. In this case, I'm gonna show you this one, which is the Elitist Event Center, which is what I showed you right now. Let's go into the editing feature. So let's go ahead and edit this one. And inside of this section is where the magic actually happens. We can create more hotspots, we can edit the hotspots, we can add more scenes to this, and a whole lot more. I mean, I could spend hours here talking about all the features that this one has available. What I want to give you is a quick overview of what you can do. So for example, here's some hotspots that are created already, and it lets you know where these sections are actually going to go. But what if you want to create a new hotspot? Let's just say that you want to create a hotspot for this building that's in this side, right? So I can go ahead and create a new hotspot by clicking on the plus button. Here's the new hotspot created. Let me drag it over here to the building. And then I'm going to tell it that it's going to be linked to a certain section that I previously uploaded, or in this case, select one that I have already here. In this case, I can use a section from the tour right here and folder my panels or upload one. I'm going to use this one just for testing purposes. I'm just going to pretend that this is inside the building. Let's go ahead and save it. And now if someone clicks on this, it's going to take you to this section. And just like that, you can work along with the tour to create obviously your virtual tour. You can add a reverse hotspot. You can change the text, the fonts, etc., the icon, the floor plan, the size, the rotation, the transparency and a whole lot more. You can also create polygon and 3D text to be displayed inside of here. So a whole lot of, a lot of options here. If you don't want to use this, go ahead and delete it. As I mentioned before, this is just for testing purposes to show you kind of the idea of how you can create a new hotspot. Now in this section, I can go to blocks and add more type of blocks, control bars, thumbnails, bars, menus, and a whole lot of things. For example, we can preview a menu here that's already pre-built, which is always a fantastic idea to take your virtual tours to the next level. Now, in this case, as I mentioned before, you could do a whole lot of things here that it's practically amazing. Charging for something like this is pricey, so you can make a lot of money with this, okay? So once you're done, you can go ahead and save this, you can preview it, you can mark it as published or not, embed it on your site, and a whole lot more. Once you're done setting up your tour, you can go into the share options where it's going to give you all these options. Let me set no for this. I can use a tour, tour type as virtual tour, split view. I can use my default panel, which is the first one, a custom domain, the embed size. If I want to go full size or make it smaller just to have uh, less load on the side, I can embed, I can share a link, MLS and embed iframe and QR code. All these options available for sharing. And I'm going to have all my virtual tools right here available so I can share them or I can edit them or delete them. And on the left side, I'm going to have my street views, my panels, my brands that I can previously create, domains that I'm going to connect, the analytics for this, team members that I'm going to jump into my account, and all these options are going to be available right here. Now, don't forget, as I mentioned before, there's a deals going on right now that you want to check it out, and that link we provided in the description. And that's a wrap for Teleport Me.